In a live relay from Covent Garden. The performance is over. Mm. You must go. Mm. I think I'll stay tonight. No, Leo. What would happen if you found me here? And I'd never see you again. Come on, Leo. He's on his way. Rowena, you know what I think about you? No, but I think you're angry and jealous. Rowena? Were you? Mm? Oh, well, look what I have got for the girl that waits. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you. Hang on, I've got a knife. Where did you get it? I found it. Was it in her trunk? She must have looked beautiful. Where are all your friends? 
You don't seem to have many friends now. Who are your friends? I never see any of them. Well, they're all old men like me. Do you know, I read in the paper the other day that uh, they said that Gregory LeVay used to be a tycoon. Now he's just a banker. You know, people think I keep you incarcerated here. Well, you don't care what people think. People are going to think it's political. Who cares what people think? I tell them it's you, not me. I say that you like to keep yourself locked away. Well, that comes from being brought up on a yacht. It's no good for you. You're drinking too much. Well, it's just my birthday. Rather, it was my birthday. You know, I'm, I miss her terribly. Daddy, I'm sorry. You can't blame yourself. I have you now. Well, I'm, I'm late. It's gone too. I've got a business meeting here. Excuse me. At two in the morning? Daddy, please don't go yet. What do you want to do with your life, Rowena? I want to be Matahari. Is there an opera about Matahari? That man who was here before. If you don't love him, get rid of him. I don't like his smell. Daddy. Do you want to hear a joke before you go? Well, there's this, this Polish man and his daughter. One day, the daughter says, Daddy, I've got something to confess to you. I'm pregnant. And he says, are you sure it's yours? Good night, Rowena. I used to feel like that. Look at her. She fits perfectly. She has no idea how close she is to happiness.
lights the night. Hello? Hello, Daddy. No, no I, I meant what I was saying. I'm staying in tonight. Of course there's no one here. I thought I had someone with you. Listen, I'll call you in the morning, okay? Good night. Good night, my darling. Good night. Sleep tight. What do you want?
Now you have seen her. What do you think of her? It's not going to be easy. She's not like me. Hero wants her. We all want her. We are the gun at your head. Is it money? Do you want money? We have money. What is it then? What is it? Is it sex? No. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not special. I'm, I'm not that good, you know. Leo thinks you're great. Leo. Yeah. How do you know about Leo? You are not who you think you are. What do you mean? You are not Rowena Levé. You are someone else. You're crazy. Another woman. My father will get me out of here. No. He won't. having a nervous breakdown. It's been two days now. She can't sleep in a row. She can afford to lose some self-respect. But suppose it doesn't work. If she becomes a vegetable. That won't happen. You are not becoming sentimental, are you? I don't think so. How do you like having another woman in the house?
How did your mother die? What's happening to me? What happened to your mother? It's not true. It's not true. Tell me. Tell me. Did you kill your mother? truth. She will remember. We're going to give you a wash.
yeah, they're burglars. All right. You were sure? I'll get them. I will not make any recordings. When I next talk to my father, it'll be in my own house. Here's our Jimmy. Ah! Fuck you! I'm not doing a fucking thing for you, scum! Shut up! Animal! Scum! What have you got to hide? Big! Carol! Let me see you! What have you got to do with that? His master's voice. Uh, we understand, Mr. LeVay, that you've received a ransom demand from the kidnappers. It is not a ransom, and I don't wish to talk about it. What I can say is that I had no intention of giving in to these people. By rejecting them, are you not in danger of jeopardizing your daughter's life? I know my daughter. She wouldn't want it any other way. If she were in my position, she would do just the same as I am doing. Thank you. Well. Would you do the same thing? Do you want to hear it again? Talk to him. No. Tell him. He's still my father. Do you love him? Say that to please us. Don't lie. I'm not lying. I don't love him. Why don't you love him?
She might have been a great singer. He loved her. But he broke her spirit. He was doing the same to you. It's true. He doesn't really love you. You're just his little girl. Your whole life, you've done what he wants. But now you can belong to yourself. I know. I know. Yes, Chief Superintendent McPherson, please. Yes, it is urgent. Gregory Levay. McPherson, I'll do it. Did they talk to you? It's not they. It's us. Nobody taught on me. One day I was Brian, the darling daughter, and the next I was a fugitive. I was on the run. My picture was in the papers like you. Everybody wanted to know what happened. And what did happen? He did. He changed my life. I don't really know how. But with him I became a different person. I love him completely, you know. I don't even know what any of you look like. We're all blind for a while. Then someone helps us to see. It's simple. Thank you.
Mr. Levesque. Mr. Levesque, we please have a stay. Nothing. Mr. Levesque, just one question. I don't want to say anything. Nothing. 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 Could you tell us about your daughter? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. Has your daughter been released, Mr. Levesque? Nothing. Mr. Levesque. Mr. Levesque. Mr. Levesque. Mr. Levesque. Tonight, the millionaire Gregory Levey set fire to his own yacht, the Leonora, apparently in response to demands from his daughter's kidnappers. Mr. Levey was too overcome to talk to reporters. He said nothing. Nothing. The demands have been met. You're free. Not free to leave, of course. But free to see. Swedish syndrome is so called because it refers to an incident some years ago in Stockholm. The hostages, in a fairly short period of time, began to sympathize with their captors and even torture us. In Iran, the American hostages held for over a year had very little to say against their captors. I think there is in every human being under stress an innate capacity to adapt in order to survive. American hostages held for over a year had very little to say against their captors. I think there is in every human being under stress an innate capacity to adapt in order to survive. He certainly likes taking pictures of me, doesn't he? Hmm. Et toi, ta fiancée? It's not me. Who is it? Tu vois papa? I think you know who it is. Okay, je t'appelle d'une cabine, j'ai pas tellement de temps, je t'en prie. If you don't tell me, I'm going to ask Hira. No, don't. Hira had a girlfriend two years ago. 
Her name was Rebecca. Hero was flying a plane. He's a pilot, you know. No, I didn't know. His grandfather was a kamikaze. Well, one day he was flying with her and he decided to skydive out of the plane. Her parachute didn't open. So I'm a replacement. It's an interactive game. That's you. <laughs> You're never going to let me go, are you? There are many ways to end this game. You can go this way. Or that way. If my father hadn't burnt his yacht, would you have killed me? She's reached the point. What point? Are you laughing at me? Well, what do you want? I mean, you've broken me in a way, haven't you? Isn't that enough? Play the game. Play. All this is just an experiment, isn't it? If you want to go, then go. What do you mean, go? If you want to leave, leave. I don't believe you. It's a trick, isn't it? It's not a trick. We've given you another life. If you leave now, you go back to Ruina Leve. I'll get your coat. Baby, I know it's you. Rina?
Pass me that towel, please. Thanks. What are you doing? You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Hope as I am. Give me the gun. You're going to die. Down on your knees. Get down! In France, a man was sentenced to the guillotine. He killed his mistress in cold blood. He had no regrets. Just the last request. What do you think it was? To sleep with a woman? On the scaffold, he asked, could I face upward? They refused. They agreed. You know what the French are like. No, please, don't do it. For God's sake! Don't do it, my God! Judge a face by its mask.
The police think she might be dead. She's not dead. She's with friends. Friends? What friends? She's somewhere in the country, near a lake. I can smell the lilies. I'll try. Tell me, is she hurt? By whom? I think your daughter is very much in control, Mr. LeRae. Fire. Fire. Begin. Begin. Very good. You wanted to kill me. So come on. Don't be afraid. Come on. Come on! I can't. <laughs> I thought you were brave. I don't know. Until I try. in France now.
disappearance of the abducted heiress Rowena LeVay shocked the police and public alike. It's obvious that my daughter has been scared to death by these people. Now you let her go. You'll have to let her go in the end. Female terrorists appear to share a marked and disconcerting fighter. Most female terrorists are in their mid to late 20s and well-educated. Their parents tend to be middle or upper class. Few of them appear to suffer from lack of parental love. Once women are admitted to terrorist gangs, they frequently distinguish themselves by their extreme brutality. <laughs> Are you watching me? Are you all still watching me? We thought we were taking you, but perhaps you were waiting for us. I don't understand. I want you. No. No. Look at me. I want you. Tell me a Don't sleep with her again. She's not Rebecca, you know? She has a will of her own. Ryanie. I'm 
pregnant. It won't work. She's pregnant. She's frightened to tell you. Keep the child. All right. But you must tell her. She needs to know. Does Hero know? I don't know. Probably. You've hurt him terribly, you know. You're jealous. What, me? Jealous? Yeah. Don't be a dick. Jealous me? Jealous? Jealous me? Sorry. There's a woman over there. She saw me. We are leaving.
using blacks. Get back, I kill you, get back! Throw down your weapons. Come out with your hands above your head. Throw down your weapons. Come out with your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. Come back. Hello, Daddy. I wouldn't recognize you if I passed you in the street. You've changed too. I'm David Hammond. Your father's arranged for me to defend you. Get out of here, you fuckwit! I'm not, you know. Answer the questions, Rowena. Don't call me Rowena. Oh, you rich kids. Well, you never learn. Your money won't protect you. Not in the end. Survival is not the most important thing. Only the bourgeois believe in survival at all costs. You use that word a lot. Bourgeois. What is a bourgeois? A bourgeois is anyone who's frightened of losing their place in the queue.
these. Oh? People think you're going to buy your way out of this. This is a letter from a black boy who robbed a store with an empty gun. He got eight years. How do you think he feels? Angry, like me. You see the results of this opinion poll? Oh, yes. 86% think that you should be sent to prison. I'm in prison already, Roger. 34% believe that you are actually the leader of the gang. These are facts. And don't call me Roger. It's not my name. They're not facts. They're opinions, Roger. The fact is, 72% of this country believes that everything you did was voluntary. Including the rapes, Roger. Rapes? What rapes? She lost it. Good. the baby. I'm sorry about that. Daddy, will you believe me when I tell you I'm sure it was mine? No more jokes, Rowena. You're right. I'm in prison and I must be serious. Do you know that 86% of the people in this country want me to stay here? Why did you send the lawyer away? He was trying to help you. Trying to help me what? Help me to adjust. Why does everybody want me to adjust? Adjust, damn it, or we'll put you away for good. You're not really an anarchist. You're not a rebel. You're just a bloody nuisance. You don't know what you're saying. It's obviously the drugs. Have I offended you, Mr. LeVay? Don't call me that. I'm your father. Then treat me like a daughter. Not a bloody employee. This little piggy went to market. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you considered your verdict? Yes, we have. What is it? Guilty. You have been found guilty in law as charged. I sentence you to two years imprisonment. I refuse to believe that my daughter was of sound mind when she was with these people. I believe that she has become a scapegoat for other people's crimes. Thank <laughs> you. 
I decided to have an early night. Look, Daddy, if it's the last night, it's the last night. I can't help it. All right, then, so you can see it in New York. Don't be angry. Good night. for you. I thought you were dead. I have been waiting for years. I have thought of nothing else but you. I tried to save you. I know that now. I guess I just didn't want to be saved. going to New York. We leave on Saturday. No. I'm staying here. But it's ridiculous living here. Don't you want to forget everything? No, I don't. I don't forget anything. The other day I was... I was talking to a psychologist. And he said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. I was talking about you, not me. He said that maybe somewhere in your past these seeds were sown. I told him you had a happy childhood despite everything. Oh, come on, Romina. Don't you remember all the fun we had hmm? on the yacht? Don't you remember how, how you used to love to play hide and seek? I did what? You used to love it. <laughs> I wonder whether we're in here. Oh. <laughs> 
lock it. Put it. Then I had to lock the door. Then lock it tight. Oh, oh there she is. <laughs> my baby. Again, didn't I? That's not mm. true. That's how it was. I don't believe you. So it's Madame Butterfly at the Met on Saturday. I'll pick you up. I'm not a heroine in some fucking opera. I'm not going to let myself die for the sake of an aria. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not Madame Butterfly. My life is not some masked ball. I'm through with costumes. I hate masks. I burned my yacht for you. You gave something up. Just once in your life. It's not so terrible. I've given a few things up. Rowena, I am proud of you just the way you are. Yes, I know. Now you are. Now that I've gone through some incredible thing that makes me the girl you always wanted. But you see, now it's too late. You don't love me. I'm not your fantasy, Daddy. You know, anything, anything that is good in me comes from you, comes from my love for you. Do you understand? Daddy, don't do that. Need anyone, do you? I abandoned my friends for you. I can't go back to Japan. I don't understand. I chose you. I watched you. I loved you. I was like someone else. Like that other girl who died. One of us must die. I'm not afraid of death. 